Oh yeah, another free dump mower. Alrighty. Neighbor says the filler neck broke and now it's leaking oil everywhere. And uh, I would say that's probably correct. So we'll see what we can do. All right, let's inspect the damage a little bit more. Drained all the oil off the top. Uh, and she started leaking gas, which worked out nice because that cleaned off the rest of the oil. And we've got Craftsman. Here's our power head right there. So it looks to be about a 99. Uh, there's the, the mower itself right there. Let me clean that off. All right, let's see what we got. So there's our mower. Um, model number 91738835. And here is where the issue lies. This O ring is not doing its thing. Cap is not stuck. That would have been my first thought. It would have been the cap was stuck and the neighbor went like this and went and then broke something off. But I think this is supposed to be held in by pressure. Um, there's a little arm right here and it's doing a lot of that so I'm wondering if this is supposed to be held down like that or something and that's what the problem is or maybe the o-ring is cut and that don't know but I'm gonna probably take this uh, cover off the top I think it should just be three screws maybe some more on the bottom and uh, see if there's a bolt on there that's walked off or fallen off or if the this mount on the side of the filler neck snapped off and uh, that may just allow us to uh, put some oil in it I don't think this thing has ever seen a tune-up there's the spark plug there's the air filter. Carb is horrid looking. Um, that's the handle right here. Lovely. So uh, probably gonna grab a tune-up kit for this too. This is just like the five horsepower one that my other neighbor threw out. So uh, she's probably gonna need it. All right, just three 5 16 bolts and we were able to take the fuel tank off then take the cap off the oil filler neck. Pop that off, set it to the side. Uh, we have a grand total of uh, not a lot of oil and uh, looks like it is indeed just one bolt holding it on and I'm assuming that this is what puts tension on that o-ring down there so I'm going to pull that out pull this thing off clean it up a little bit and uh, inspect that tube down there and just make sure that I'm looking at that right I've already cleaned off most of the crap but uh, I want to make sure that that o-ring is in the right place at the very least. All right, that came out just another eight millimeter bolt This one with a lock washer clean this up o-ring is still in Okay shape. It's a little bit firm, but you know, it's still got some spring to it It's not doesn't have any flat spots on the bottom of it got a flat spot on the top But I don't care about that. Uh, it's sealing a flat surface. So not like that really matters Yeah, I don't see any obvious chunks in there. The oil is uh fucking horrible looking um, this says it calls for a straight 30 weight on the cap but uh, we're gonna put some uh, 10w30 or some 5w30 in it uh, whichever I decide I have enough of I have exactly one and a half quarts of 5w30 and I think I've got probably a little bit less 10w30 um, I just want to get rid of one of those jugs I'm probably gonna try and get rid of the 5w30 although I probably really shouldn't put be putting that in a lawnmower but like I care it's a fucking dump mower anyway so uh, I'm gonna try and put this back on uh, figure out how to change the oil on this thing and uh, put the wrong oil in it and then uh, see she fires up uh, without that god-awful air filter on it all right she's all back together now I gotta figure out how the hell to drain the oil out of this uh, I don't know I've never had to change the oil on a push mark you know of all the things I've had to change an oil on I'm assuming it's just some sort of bolt underneath this thing. All right, don't fight me now. I'm assuming it's probably not that guy. Maybe that guy? Don't know. But uh, my hope would be it would be underneath here. Hmm. Figured out. Yeah, that's some pretty fucked oil right there. All right, oil's drained. Don't even think I got but eight ounces out. Apparently she takes 20, so she's going to get 20 ounces of 5W30, I think. Okie dokie. She now has approximately 18 ounces of 5W30 in it, casual GTX, high mileage. 
synthetic blend because I wanted to get rid of that jug and it was just a hair over 16. It's a little more than half quart. So anyway, I just threw it in there. It's enough to test it for now. And uh, part the spark plug off because I want to see how horrible it actually is. I may actually have a replacement for this. Well, that came out with no effort at all. And uh, we're gonna gap this. And uh, see how far, oh, that is covered in rust. We're gonna run it, we're gonna send it anyway, but I'm at least gonna gap it and just see how far off we are. All right, got the plug out. All right, spec is 30 thou. This is reading 27. So we'll give it just a little bit of a tweak and clean it up a bit, stick it back in. We're actually uh, under gap. And it runs. All right, compression test is 85. So it's not the healthiest engine, but it runs. Next up. It's just a heat vent. That's some mowed grass right there. She seemed a bit low on oil after I finished, so I put another six ounces in it. So it should have, you know, 22, 24, which is more than it's... Who the hell torqued this damn thing? Good Lord. That's probably why that broke. But anyway, put another, like, six ounces in it. She's got some white, crusty crap up here at the top. Um, she's not... Ah, oh, there it goes. She's not leaking oil, though. That's for certain, not a drop. Let's see how this reads now. Yeah, it's still reading good, but it's got all this smuts going on in there. She wasn't even hard on the fuel. Yep, just starting to get down there to the bottom. So yeah, for basically the cost of oil, I got a free yard mowing. You know, cost of gas right now with this whole well, I mean, this video is going to be coming out like seven months after I film it, but uh, during this gas scare, uh, cost of oil is actually probably cheaper than gas for lawnmowers. So, yeah, free gas, free yard cutting. And uh, I think that's it for her. She, you know, obviously needs a new spark plug and needs a new air filter, but she does run, she does cut grass. Um, I had her set way too low, so she bogged down a lot, but. Not bad, I think this is gonna replace the five horsepower Craftsman I got out at work. So yeah, if you like this kind of crap, you know, go down there, like the video. If you don't, go down there, comment, tell me how much of an idiot I am, any engagement helps me, so you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. And uh, if you wanna see more of this garbage, you gotta subscribe, so smash that subscribe button, and until next time, I'm out.